In 2022, climate change is a widely discussed topic. Less commonly understood is what causes the phenomenon. The largest way that we contribute to climate change is through one of the most fundamental aspects of life, housing. Houses use energy in a variety of different ways, including electricity for lighting, appliances, heating, and cooling. The problem arises in both the quantity that is consumed as well as the source. Currently, 45% of all of Easton's carbon emissions come from residential areas. As part of our Senior Engineering Studies capstone project, we are focusing on trying to decrease the percentage of greenhouse gas emissions coming from residential building energy consumption in Easton. The Easton Climate Action Plan has two broad objectives to address residential energy emissions, both focusing on maximizing the energy efficiency of housing. Energy efficiency measures are hard to implement universally and are particularly unrealistic for renters who might not want to spend money improving a home they do not own. In order to meet the goals of the Climate Action Plan, it would be greatly beneficial for Easton to power residential buildings with renewable energy before the rest of the city, instead of focusing solely on efficiency measures. The West Ward neighborhood of Easton faces a 7% higher poverty rate than the city as a whole, and at least 60% of housing units are renter-occupied. These disparate socioeconomic qualities make the West Ward a priority for government support. We argue that this priority status should extend to reducing residential energy emissions. An effective way to do this is through microgrids. A microgrid is a small-scale power grid that can operate independently or collaboratively with the larger grid. Microgrids can greatly reduce emissions by using renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, or hydropower. Because it is a local entity, it can reduce energy loss through transmission lines and improve grid resilience to extreme weather. In 2020, Eastern Housing and Development Agencies applied for and were awarded a federal planning grant for the West Ward neighborhood of Easton. The North Union Street Apartments and Bushkill House were identified as priority locations for redevelopment. In coming years, these locations will be knocked down and rebuilt to be healthier and more energy efficient living arrangements. We recommend that instead of reconnecting the new units to the macro grid, both new apartments be connected to a microgrid powered by renewable energy sources. As the city is currently in the process of securing funding for implementation, there's a unique opportunity to combine efforts and start the renewable energy transition. This switch would make significant strides toward reducing greenhouse gas emissions and promoting equity in addition to exerting Easton as a leading Pennsylvania city in the fight against climate change. For more information, be sure to check out our website. Thanks for watching.